Hi right, guys, welcome back to Into the Breach. Uh, and as promised, I'm gonna do my favorite one on hard and with that guy. So let's get this going. A mantis in the, uh, I think he's in the pod. Did I put him in there? Yeah, I did. There you go. So I wanted to try to do this on hard. Do not kill Voltal Vec. It seemed kind of fun to me. All right. So, the easiest thing to do would be to freeze that guy immediately. So, we can actually get into range and do that. There you go. And then this guy can just get punched. So, uh, so the Vex spawns are up by like 50%, so it's kind of interesting to know. Fuck. Why is this guy such a rude dude? Well, now we can't use that angle anymore. Uh, fuck. Whatever. Hit that one. How oh, goody a scion. So that's when they die, they spawn a bunch of crap, don't they? Yeah. Now, it would be nice to be able to move into that tile to be able to block them both, but it looks like I will not be able to do that today. Um, we have victory in two turns, right? So... Alright, here's... I don't have any good plans of dealing with this guy. I think I'm doing something like this. Will this move the ice? Yeah, it will, so no matter what, I can't really do anything. Well, I mean, honestly, I probably should use them to block as many as possible anyway, so... This actually sucks, like, how little I have to deal with this stuff. I mean, I can... I can... <coughs> look, 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 I can freeze him, but it's not a good idea to do that. And there's actually not a whole lot of good ideas to do here. So, you know what? Let's do this. Let's do this. We will freeze him. Or freeze the build now. Freeze him. And you can just chill here. You don't get a turn, but whatever. How's that feel, you burrowing SOB? Whoa. Can't just say words like that. Alright, so all he wants to do is knock that guy around, so that's fine. Huh. Well, this is an issue. I mean, honestly, all he wants to do is do that, so let's just, you know, let's just prevent them from doing what they want to do. Are you good at action? You do? Okay, well. Good work. I mean, he's wanted Welcome to let that thing free, you know. It's it's fine with me. Alright, well ah good tidal waves. I love tidal waves. Less than three grid damage. Because we have to we do I think we do have to be a little bit more careful about the ones we choose. And our positioning is gonna be kind of important. Alright. Now, this is kind of what I was afraid of, which is like, I, there's like a problem here, but yeah. But what we can do is we can just freeze that building and we, we, get, we hit both of them. Okay. Oh, you can't undo your move anymore, that's okay. Uh... Alright, that's fine, I think. Because we don't take grid damage like this, at least. Alright. Now some of these are becoming issues. Alright, so I think the play here is to knock him around. Maybe. Can this guy do anything? No. 
Problem is, this mech is particularly not very useful. Because what is he going to do? Besides block things, which may not be the worst thing in the world. Uh, Alright, I think I have the play. <coughs> actually. Block that guy. You go here and we'll freeze this guy. Actually, you didn't even need to block that then. I, I kind of want to have him in a better position though. Alright, well. They're into some shit here, so. Ah, he's waterlogged right now. <laughs> we can just kill him. That's fine, it's experience, you know. Even though we take a bit of damage, it's okay. Experience is experience, you know. Ah, that was a nice one. I could definitely see the up spawn rates though. Destroy the dam and with less than four mech damage. All right. Well, this guy may decide to do that. Uh, you have to be careful of this. Although I think when they drown, it doesn't count. Okay, that might be an issue. Someone's gonna need to take that. It's gonna have to be you. Oh wait, that, that, what? All right, two things I've learned today. The dab breaks ice. And the second thing is that they still explode when they drown. So there you go. Alright, so we don't really want him to break out, but we may not have a choice. Either that or we go over here and freeze him. Oh, he's waterlogged if I do this. Alright, well... I don't really have any actions to do with this guy, so let's just block the Vex spawn. It's kind of a problem, because when I do things like this, then like, yeah, then they break free. Actually, he was nice enough to go right beside him. Nice. Uh, let's just go over here and repair. Alright, well, it's victory one turn, so... And there's really not much else to do here. So wait, this this made a block of ice, actually. That's another thing that's interesting, is it made a block of ice because he was turned into ice, and he broke himself off of it. So, just one of those kind of interesting things, you know. Well, he's gonna go free, free his friend, and then they're gonna leave. That's some very interesting mechanical things about this. So, it's very nice. Pod contents. Push an, adja uh, push an adjacent tile. Two damage. Alright. Might be not bad. You, you do like four damage with it. Alright. I mean, having more damage and options here would probably not be the worst thing. Alright, uh, let's do defend the tanks, sure. That sounds kind of fun. Fuck, it's one of those things again. Uh, let's see here. I don't want to put him over here, because if he gets knocked out by a spider, then we're in trouble, so... Let's do something like this. Yeah, so this is okay. 
Uh, although I would have really liked to be able to... Okay, so I could do this and set the tile on fire. Um, I can also knock this guy back. So if I can knock this guy back, and then I can either knock this guy to the side, which would be better, because they, they have the exploding thing on them right now, so I, I don't want them to explode. I want them to get off the tile. Yeah. And I have nothing really else to do, because this guy can do nothing but collateral damage right now. But we definitely have to deal with him next turn. Fucking hell. We need to get rid of this guy. Either that or we need to freeze people, so... Which one is it gonna be? We're gonna have to no, because we have to knock him. No, we can't do that. Huh. All right. Um, because this guy is gonna do a shit ton of damage, right? So I can't just knock him in the other direct. I can't swap his direction because he's gonna hit the optional objective. I can't move him either. So it really comes down to I have to. No, I can't even do that. Because if I kill this guy, that's a problem. I have to freeze him. So, in order to freeze him, I need to come over here and do that. So, that guy needed to be frozen. And now I can't really deal with this guy. Because I'm not flying, so I can't deal with him. And this guy, no matter what, is going to deal some damage, so let's not focus too much on him then. Oh my god. My units are so useless for this one mission. Alright, uh, let's just knock him out of the way because he explodes. Yep. So it's going to take a bit of damage, but that's okay. Are the tanks finally online? Thank you. I still can't get into position for that. Alright, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna knock that guy into position there. Uh, no, because it's gonna light everything. Alright. Fuck. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can go this way. Alright, I broke him out. I would like to just push this guy down, but I think I can get him into melee range. Huh. Because he has got three movement. No, he can't get into range of that. Okay. That should be a little bit better, actually. Actually, this guy has a little bit of actions here. Uh, I'm trying to think of what the best do with him. Probably just go here and freeze something. Absorb a hit, you know. All right. I would like to deal with him. This is things I like doing. Alright. And this guy is kind of whatever. Okay, he's gonna just burn, so, you know. Uh, I mean, the easiest thing for me to do is just to hit him. Because he's gonna burn next turn, so I don't really care, really. Yeah, I don't think we have much else to do here. I guess that's it for this. Alright, well... That was simple enough. That wasn't that bad. Alright. 
Well, time to do corporate HQ. Scorpion leader, guys. Alright, so it's a bunch of these jerks. Uh... We're gonna do some stuff like this. Alright, so... Yeah, not, not completely unforeseen, by the way. But we can push him over there to kill this guy, and he goes first too, so... So, that's all good. Uh, oh, you still get a turn? I, I kind of want to hit this guy, but if I can't, then I might as well... Uh, how much damage do you do? Two, okay. Well, that's fine then. Good thing I have that thing that, that changes their movement slightly, you know? Alright. Alright, so what if I punch him back? Ah, uh, that's not what I want. I mean, we could just kill him. There you go. How much damage do you do? Oh, fuck me, dude. Alright, not the best idea. Uh, actually, we can we can still do something pretty interesting. Actually, I think. But I'd have to set myself on fire. So I think if I go like this, now it punches him that way. Although if I go here, no. Okay. All right. Let's let's just let's just not do that. It's fine. I I just want to get rid of this guy over here somehow, so... I don't want to punch him back here because it'll kill him. What would be nice if this, is if I can get him to go over here to get blocked by that guy. I'm not sure if I can do that. I maybe have to swap their positions, but... Nah, I don't think that's happening. Let's just at least get him out of the way and then fine. There you go. At least they don't do anything this turn. Alright, so it's just one left. Alright, so they're not really doing much. And we can just finish them off with one turn, so... Uh, let's just uh, punch them in the other direction. All right. So we're just getting as many as possible. It's all good. What is this immense hatred? Oh, way he burns. Oh, you're gonna burn, all right. All right, we killed literally everything, and also, yeah. Hard mode, smart mode. Alright, pretty good. Two mech HP, thank you, and move again after shooting. Uh, push all adjacent tiles, no. Or grid defense. Probably the pilot, honestly. Probably for this guy, honestly. Put him into a bad spot and then take him out of there again. It's the only thing I can think of. Place this guy. Yeah. Alright, what do we have to spend reputation on? Reactor cores. Yeah, that sounds good. Shoot. Uh, let's see what kind of weapons they have. Brute class weapons. Push them in opposite directions. That does not sound that bad. Volatile? No. Repair drop? No. No. Okay, well, we'll take the shock cannon. Uh, it's like two tiles, seriously. I feel like we just need movement, we don't need necessarily more damage. But this actually gives us an option of not damaging something directly behind us, you know. That's why I want to take that. And unfortunately, because of the way this works now, I have to get grid defense. Oh well. Uh, so, yeah, whatever, we'll do another episode, I don't, I don't care right now. Alright, 
Uh, defend the train, protect the defense lab. All right. Ah, I love hard missions. Fuck, it's this guy, the Spider-Man. I have to be very careful with this. Alright, so let's do something like have this guy in the back here. This way they're all spread apart, they all can't get webbed. This is going to be difficult. Alright. Now, this is something I've been particularly curious for about for a while, is can I freeze the train? And I can't really figure that out now, because it won't let me, because uh, reasons. Alright, wait, wait, one sec. I can move three tiles, right? Yeah, I wasn't even going to be in range to freeze it, fuck. Ah, uh, shit. Um, so if I do this, it will move him around. Alright, let's try... Fuck. Okay, you wouldn't, you wouldn't hit it then. All right, this is a giant pain in the butt. I actually kind of want to freeze him to start, but I didn't put him into a position where I could do that. This is the best thing I can think of doing. And punch him to the side here. Fuck, I'm gonna have to freeze this guy then. But that doesn't do anything for the next turn, though. Fuck, I hate this mission now. <laughs> and the guy is gonna just put another spider thing down. Like, fuck you. Because anything I do here, it's just awful. And I only have one action I can take that will save the train. And I just, I know next turn things are going to be awful. Yeah, exactly. That's what I thought. Okay, at least he's going to hurt that thing, so that's a good sign. Okay, I, just, I can push this thing out of the way. It's not like this guy can really do anything. Okay, so the building's going to take some damage. Uh, what if I, I'm just curious if I do this. Yeah, that will kill him now. I unfortunately can't protect the building there. Yeah, that building's so fucking dead. Holy shit. Because I can't move anything. Oh wait, what? I didn't mean to do that one. Fuck. I meant the first one. Fuck you. And you can just, honestly, you can just kill him, honestly. What else are you going to do with your turn? Alright, well, that building is a rip, so whatever. What do I even bother getting all this, like, fucking grid defense for? Dude, are these guys for real? How much damage do you do, too? Well, there's really nothing you can do about that. Alright. I think we should commit to the train, but that's just me, though. These guys are so, like that guy's such an asshole. I just want to mention. I can't even do anything with this guy, dude. I'm gonna take too much damage here. I gotta, I gotta fucking abandon that that train. I think. Fuck the train. Train's a fucking asshole. 
And it's this guy. This guy is like the worst, and I wish I blew him up the first turn, and I just realized that, yeah, whatever, the train's just fucking to toast, whatever. Oh my god. Fuck that train. So one the, the reactor core is like way more important to me. That's like worth three fucking grid points, man. And look, I got another one too on top of that. <laughs> I got fucking four reactor points. All in this one go. Oh my god. This fucking piece of shit. Alright. I wanna get more damage, I think. Mobility is nice too, but damage is nicer. Fire and forget. That would also be very nice. These guys all have a lot of really nice abilities. I I'm not sure. All right, scorched earth. All right, good. I like the terraform one. That's that's relaxing. Uh, so let's do something like over here. That's what I thought the guy was gonna basically. Actually, they made this super easy, didn't they? Alright. And all we really have to do is just knock his ass around. There you go. Uh, actually, can we go on top of that now? We got nothing else to do with our turn, really. Fuck this guy, honestly, to hell. Yeah, that's what I thought. I, I too think you are a piece of shit. Alright. Well, we clearly don't want to terraform that. We might want to terraform the bottom, though. Uh, can, are we allowed to go? I'm just curious. Okay, so it is a projectile. Um... What does this thing do? It's, uh, I don't know what it is. But we can at least set this guy on fire. Uh, I can't do that because it'll kill me. I need to do this. Alright, there's gonna be a lot of shit spawning though, that's the only problem. Well, at least this guy's dead next turn. It would've been nice to, like, just kill him. Alright, well... This puts us into quite the predicament, actually, so... Here's the problem we have. We need to terraform something. Uh, the best thing I can think of is actually just to do this. No, because it'll damage the building. Because we need to deal with him, we need to deal with him. Because here's the thing. Either tile fucks my object, my optional up. If he gets frozen, do I get to? Will he live? Because I don't think he will. Not gonna lie, these are one of those questions that I only ask myself now. But either way, I need to get rid of this guy, actually, so... I may not actually have that option anyways. Alright, we may just scrap that thing. Okay, I think I actually have... Nope, I don't have the play, because he can't get over there. No. It's okay, though. It was close, though. Uh, I'm trying to think if there's like some perfect scenario where everything could have worked out, but... Oh, wait, wait. Maybe if I had done that? No. No, because he was here. He needed to move. So. I think either way, we were fucked, so... There may have been a way out of that. I'm not sure. Yeah, whatever. Fuck you too. Uh, 
Alright. Good enough. And I don't know, you just repair yourself. I mean, it's just one point of damage. I mean, who's really gonna grill me over one point of damage, guys? What kind of, what kind of dick would comment on that? Huh? I don't know, I'm kidding. <laughs> All right, gamma trench. Defend earth mover. Take less. Than I always hate the earth mover because the earth mover never does anything. Uh, earth mover is a useless piece of crap. Um, so I am going to absolutely 100% commit to fucking wrecking that shit. Let me tell you that right now. Oh my god, there's nothing worthwhile for this guy to do. Let's do that. It should make it relatively unappealing to hit me. Yeah, there you go. That's what I thought. Alright, we're gonna freeze his ass, by the way. Because I hate him. I hate him and his freedom. Alright, so we have to deal with this guy. Uh, wait, who sells a turn? Oh, do you still get it? You get a move. Yeah. It works for me. Forgot that I enabled that for him. Oh wow, they made this really easy actually. They made this really easy, what the fuck? Why is the game being nice to me all of a sudden? I actually, I'm actually not used to this. Uh, I'm just gonna head over here. Uh, you can just go over that actually. Alright, we're going to do something simple like this. Uh, yeah, he gets a, he gets an, he just gets a bonus move. I'll be honest, it's probably one of my less favorite abilities that they get, you know? There's a lot of more useful things that they can do, you know? Uh, yeah. I, so I wonder, you could probably freeze the Earth Mover, right? Because you're just supposed to protect it from being damaged. You know, you could freeze it and then, like, it would st it would still make the, the, the ground where, you know, they have issues. Okay, let's do the easiest one. I guess Seismic Activity sounds pretty good. Uh... Oh goody, it's this one again. Have I told you guys how much I love it when I see these fucking things? At least he's gonna- no, he's not gonna die. Of course, why would he die? Why would anything nice happen? Well, luckily, he's gonna die first, so... Kinda good. So, let's, uh, take care of business here. And fuck that guy. Alright, and then the next thing we're gonna do is kill this guy. Kill this piece of shit. Whoops, yeah, we can do that. We're gonna have to get rid of this guy, though. We have to unfreeze him. Ah, he just puts himself in the opportune position, doesn't he, for, like, being just a piece of shit. Looks like we're gonna have to punch him out. I really did not want to do because either way, uh, any way I do damage to him, he's going to live, and and this guy's going to be a jerk. So, Fuck. how do I bitch slap this guy? Good times. You get a movement, yeah. It's like they knew, man. They fucking knew. And this guy's like now just stuck on this side and can't really do much. Yeah, thanks. Well, at least he's gonna... No, wait. He's not gonna die because it's seismic activity. Uh, 
trying to think here. Okay, so we have to kill this guy like that. Because this is only going to make it seismic activity-ness. I would like to harm this guy so much. Yeah, well, I have to freeze him, at least. I don't want to deal with him. Probably could have moved him, actually, but whatever. Are you getting action? Yeah, but there's nothing I want you to do, because you have one HP. Whatever. Actually, hopefully he just stays there. Now, why would he stay there? No, he just goes to, like, some other fucking place. What a jerk. Because I, I have to break out of my of this turn. And, yeah, he can't, he can't move over there to help out. So the spider just gets to do whatever the hell it wants for a turn. So, I mean, there's not much we can do. I told you, this is why I fucking froze it at the beginning, because I didn't want to deal with it. Because the, the, there's always some situation, because it's just adding extra turns for me to have to deal with it. They're actually the worst things on the planet. Let me, let me tell you right now. Like, I, like, if you put Hitler, Pat, and one of those spider fucking things in the room, I will shoot Pat twice and the spider thing once, so. You know. Alright, well, what do we do with this? Like, Pat gets one of the bullets. Like, that should tell you a lot. Alright. So, let's have a look here. So, these guys are doing some shit. I mean, simplest thing to do would actually be to shoot in between these guys. This would make both their turns invalid, freeing me up to do some things over here. Yeah, you get a bonus turn. Yeah, we know they have regen. Honestly, what I could have done is I could have actually done... <sighs> you gotta be joking me, dude. You gotta be joking me. Uh... Alright. Yeah, this guy is in trouble. All right, let's have let's have a think here. So, I can pretty much wholeheartedly deal with him. What are you aiming for? Nothing over there. I'm just thinking of actions to do here, because I can't move him over here. One second. If I push him over there, will he? Yes, he will kill that. Okay, that's what I thought. All right, that simplifies a couple things. We could just end this guy right now. Which I'm actually kind of up for. Which means... What should I freeze here? Because he will just hit me, so all I have to do is freeze myself. If we want to play like that. And then end this guy. Because I want him to break me out, I just don't want to take damage, right? Alright. This one actually seems pretty simple enough. He gets an action, but we're not going to use his action. because that doesn't kill him. Uh, well, we gotta... Actually, we have a number of good actions here. Swap his d direction. Move him away. There you go. It always wants me to move him. It's, that's one of the more annoying things about having one of these guys. Is that, like, uh, the, the pilot for that one? Yeah, he always does that shit. Alright, cool. We did it. Alright, so... 
Mostly reactor, let's see. Fly over targets while dropping smoke, no. Grab target, no. Self struck, no. Frost beam. That is really nice, but do I I don't even have a science class one, so we're gonna do reactors then. Alright, so I like damage and I like movement. Uh, but we're gonna do mostly damage today. Like, uh, just uh, get three damage on that. So we have a little bit of movement abilities, but yeah, it's pretty good. Alright, so thanks for tuning in, guys, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.